Hey there, my fourth grade Langley Leopards. I could not believe you're in fourth grade. I miss you guys so much. Miss Clark said you're doing amazing. So, you're going to start a new project with me today. And in fourth grade, at the beginning of the year, we focus on being purposeful and taking our time and doing amazing, great art. Last year in third grade, you guys were really doing amazing by taking your time. And we're going to do the same thing this year. And I really want you to think, does this look cool? Does this look purposeful? So we're going to work on design and slow in space. So you're going to, let me show you my example. So you're going to take your ruler today and you're going to start at one part and then you're going to make lines coming out here and you're going to design them. Okay, and make them look awesome. So let's go ahead and start. I'm gonna put my dot, and you should pick kind of one of the corners, not really in the corner, but not in the middle. So I'm gonna kind of go in this area, in this corner right here, and I'm gonna make my dot. Then I'm gonna start my line coming from that dot to this corner. It doesn't matter where you start, I just usually go to the corner. Now. I want my space to be about equal every single time. That's going to be the trickiest part for you guys. So what I mean is, I see about this space, and I could even measure it with my ruler. Um, and I could say, hmm, that's about four inches. So then I could go here, and I could do four inches again. And I could measure it and use my ruler. And then I could do four again. You don't have to measure it. You can eyeball it if you want to. And when I say eyeball it, I just mean look to see what's about right. But if you use your ruler, then the space will be right. So now I'm going to do, I'm going to do four again. So about right from here. And the rest I'm just going to eyeball. And you have to hold your ruler down. Every time you have to hold your ruler down and you have to make sure that your ruler is going to that dot. So I'm going to hold my ruler down. And you don't want them too close together because you don't want to do way too many. Now I do one here. One more right here. Maybe, yeah, right here. All right, so I have all mine spaced out and they're about right. So then it would look cool like this, but also really, really boring. So inside these spaces, you are going to design. Now, if all I did were these lines, that would be boring. So now I'm going to go back and I'm going to add some more. Kind of looks like bricks, doesn't it? And then I'm going to do the same design in this whole part. So in this one is kind of going to be the bricks. And then this one. I'm going a little bit sloppy because I don't want to take all of your time. I hope you guys are having a great school year so far. I really, really miss you. All right, so then in this one, I'll just do, kind of looks like stairs a little bit. And I have my zigzag line. And then my zigzags on this side. So, like I said, in every single one, you're going to make your design. So when you're done, it might look something like that, okay? Now, you're going to start it today. You're not going to add any color. And the next week, I'm going to have you add some marker to it. All right? I love you guys so much. I miss you. Keep being amazing.